judge calling the alleged facts of his case horrific and appalling. Two days after the execution style shootings, the motive remains a mystery. Video released by Forest Park Police shows the suspect in a mask walking out of the Harlem Blue Line station. Moments earlier, prosecutors say Ronnie Davis brutally gunned down three men and a woman on two CTA Blue Line cars. And for the first time, we're learning the fourth and final victim, Adrian Collins, wasn't asleep when he was shot in the abdomen. The defendant positioned himself in front of victim Collins, who raised his hand in a defendant in a defensive posture. In court, the 30-year-old Davis from Chicago surrounded by numerous sheriff's officers as he was denied pretrial release. Prosecutors say Davis's first three alleged victims were all gunned down on the same train car, all shot in the head or face, all pronounced dead on scene. Video shows what police describe as a witness fleeing the moving train as it pulled into the Harlem station. Seconds later, Davis, after stepping off the train, is seen calmly walking the platform. Authorities say after he left Harlem, he returned minutes later and boarded a loop-bound Blue Line train and then eventually the Pink Line. CTA personnel were given a description of the offender by the police. An employee of the CTA saw the defendant on the Pink Line train. Prosecutors say Davis was arrested with a 9mm handgun, an analysis showing the shell casings at the murder scenes were fired by that weapon. His hands also allegedly tested positive for a gunshot residue. In addition, a South Suburban police officer who was familiar with the defendant ID'd him from this uh, CTA video. Davis is being represented by a public defender who left court this afternoon without comment. Live in Maywood, Eric Hong, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Eric, thank you. And not too long ago, we managed to catch up with the father of Simeon Behesi, one of the victims of Monday morning shooting. He tells us tonight the 29-year-old used to live in Ohio with him and served in the Marines, but he had recently struggled with mental health issues and had moved to Chicago closer to his mother. Well, my son was a very good person. He was a very good child, very obedient, very helpful not only to me but to others very visionary very energetic but his father said he had dreams of one day working as a police officer